So there you have it. The four rendering you just saw are the four of the most accurate rendering you will ever see for the 2022 Toyota Tundra. Based on all my investigation, research, my insight, and connection with the auto in the industry, I finally came up with what I believe is 90 to 95% accurate of what to expect for a brand new 2022 Tundra. So let me walk you through a quick memory lane to show you how we came up with this amazing, accurate rendering of the newest Toyota Tundra. So this was one of the earliest prototype scoop photo we saw and someone was able to snap a photograph of the front end and then they tacked that onto this scoop photo to show you what the Sandra might look like. It was pretty rough and it didn't give us a lot of details for the rest of the body but was enough for someone else to then come up with this rendering. Now this one has a very very accurate front end but the rest of the body was not accurate because the rest of the body is actually from Nissan Titan. So while it looks pretty good it was not anywhere close to what the final version will look like. So then someone yells, another person, another company organization came up with this rendering. This is not a very good one, although it has some resemblance of what the new Tundra might look like, namely in terms of some of the front grille aspects and the rear taillights and so forth. But again, this was not sufficient. Finally, we saw this one. This is the worst one, as I mentioned before. It is not accurate. This is the one that is absolutely wrong, but I'm not sure why people keep showing this on our YouTube channel. Don't believe it. This is the wrong one. So after all that hype and so forth, Motor Trend then finally came up with a better rendering showcasing what the 2022 Tundra might look like. It has, however, a lot of errors based on my research, which I will explain in a few seconds and you will know why my rendering is the most accurate one. So for example, the Motor Trend one has the, um, the wrong type of grill. Uh, while the horizontal lines are reasonably accurate, the word Toyota, the logo and the front end is too high based on the spy photo that we've seen now so far. So that part is wrong. Also the headlight where there's a teardrop headlight, but the side marker is actually longer, much longer than what they show here. And so uh, at first glance, it looks pretty accurate, but there is some elements of error and mistakes, mistakes in this particular rendering. Uh, and then there are a few more mistakes. The wheels they have on this um, um, illustration is wrong because it came from a Tacoma TRD Pro, not a Tundra TRD Pro. I don't know why they used that rendering, but they stuck that on to this rendering. So that's also wrong. And then a couple other things. This one is missing a tail light, which doesn't make any sense. The new, um, new Tundra clearly has a tail light and it's also much bigger and prominent than before. So that's not shown in here. And then there is a final remark is that there's a lot of curvature behind the front wheel on the side panel that kicks up a notch like a hockey stick. That's, all, that's also incorrect. The spy photos we've seen do not have that hockey stick angle that particular element is flat straight all the way through so those are some things i've noticed and we've corrected all of that in my new rendering which i will show you model by model now i do want to remind you that we are pretty sure that the lexus version of the 3.5 liter twin turbo engine is what's going to show up on the new 2022 tundra but that part is still not 100 percent sure uh, we are though very sure that there will be no v8 engine in the new 22 tundra but they will likely have the twin turbo 3.5 liter v6 and they might also have a slightly revamped version of the Tacoma V6 in the base model. So there could be two engines offered. We're not quite sure about that one yet, but I'm very sure that the V8 is gone. So now let me walk you through the actual rendering that uh, I've created using my engineering skills and based on all my research, investigation and insight. And I can tell you that these these rendering illustrations that I've done are 90, maybe even 95% accurate. The new Tundra will look exactly like this according to all my research. The one I'm showing you right now is the 2022 Tundra TRD Sport. 
and to create a TRD Sport version of the 2022 Tundra, these are things I did. First, the wheels are larger because on the Tundra TRD Sport, they have a 20 inch larger wheels. So I have used the existing TRD Sport wheels and placed that onto this illustration. Now, everyone keeps bothering me about the fact that the new version will have six lugs instead of five. So I have actually gone out and changed the lug to six lug format. So even though the wheel design is the same as the current ear tundra, I have modified the wheel lug nut shape and the number of lug nuts. Obviously the TRD Sport has uh, a hood scoop which is not functional but anyhow. So I made sure that this rendering has the hood scoop for the 2022 version. And then I've also made changes to the headlight as I mentioned previously because the side element of the headlight goes much longer than previously thought. So I made sure that uh, sort of this uh, teardrop uh, design goes much further on the side. Uh, I've also changed the, 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 the design of the headlight itself because it's likely going to be LED headlights. So to make sure that it does look like a LED, I made some changes there as well. Uh, finally, I've smoothed out the side uh, rendering because the um, Motor Trend version shows again a hockey stick uh, design which is wrong. So I flattened that part out so that there's a straight line on the side panel. And finally, even though it's a bit hard to see in this rendering, I've placed a large uh, tail light in the back because all of the sky, spy photos and the rendering I've seen shows a very enlarged rear tail light. Uh, much like the current Ford F-150 or even a, a Chevrolet Silverado, which has a kind of like a U-shaped tail light flipped on its side. So, so that's what uh, we will have on the TRD Sport. And then now uh, let me show you the other variation of the Tundra. So now this is the TRD Off-Road, which is one of the most popular version of the Tundra. So you can see some of the changes I made. For one, I've added a light bar in the front grille because there has been a number of spy photos that are showing a light bar in the front. So I've added that to the off-road because that might be an option that Toyota will offer. And of course, I've changed the wheels and the tires because the TRD off-road have uh, off-road capable uh, tires uh, mounted on the 18-inch wheel uh, wheels. So this one is a kind of aftermarket uh, looking design. So it might not look like this, but I made sure that it is a six lug wheels and it definitely has off-road tires on it. Uh, other changes I made is that there's a TRD off-road uh, emblem or a decal in the back as you can see. Uh, but the rest obviously is very similar to and very close to the TRD Sport version. I've also chosen the color, in this case, a Calvary blue color uh, versus the previous TRD Sport color, which uh, I put the Lunar Rock on that one, uh, just to see what the differences might be. But I think the TRD Off-Road in Calvary blue will look amazing. So that was the TRD Off-Road, and now you have uh, limited version. So this is the Tundra Limited. A uh, few changes also here. First of all, the grille is the biggest change. Again, the spy photos we've seen shows a kind of almost chrome-like front grille. So that's a little hard to show in this rendering, but uh, I made sure that uh, there's a clear kind of a chrome type finish on the front grille showing horizontal bars uh, from top to bottom. So that's one big change. And then of course it does have, just like in 2021, a 20 inch aluminum wheels that is usually sort of a more of a shiny hyper silver type color. So I've added a, a kind of glossy silver type wheels with um, normal all season tires, not off-road tires. Uh, and then I removed the uh, deco on the side because the Limited does not have that uh, deco. And the uh, hood scoop was also removed because the Limited model does not have the hood scoop. And then finally, I used the cement color for this Limited. Again, that's a very popular color. Sometimes that cement color is not made available on the Limited, but who knows for 2022. Uh, so it could also argue that this could be a silver color as well. So this is what the Limited should look like. And then now let me finally show you the TRD Pro version. So here is what the 2022 Tundra TRD Pro should look like. Very exciting. 
just absolutely amazing to look at. Uh, although I do have to say that the TRD Pro might not be available right off the bat when the Tundra is introduced. But here are the changes I made, uh, and these are very significant now. The front grille uh, have been uh, changed so that not only do you get uh, the light bar right below the Toyota logo, but there's also two smaller fog lamps uh, near the bottom of the bumper. Uh, these three elements were clearly shown on one of the spy photos, so I know for sure uh, either a TRD Pro or some similar version of the Tundra will have a light bar and two fog lamps, so I've added those. Uh, I've left the hood scoop because TRD Pro always have a hood scoop. And then I've changed the wheels to a black with the TRD logo uh, emblem in the center because that's the traditional TRD Pro wheels. Uh, now, while this wheel does have a five spoke design because it was brought in from the 2021 photo, I've made sure that I've erased the five lug and added the six lug design because people keep talking about that one. So yes, I've used the 21 wheel on this uh, rendering, but it does have the correct number of lugs. Uh, finally, I've changed uh, the emblem and the deco in the back to say TRD Pro. We're not quite sure if they will still be stamped onto the, the side panel like it is on the current model. Uh, but in either, either case, I put a decal there showing TRD Pro. Otherwise, uh, it's very similar to TRD Off-Road. Uh, there is uh, oh, there's one more thing which is interesting, which is on the rear wheel, just above the wheel, on the wheel well, there is a small light uh, that's uh, shining there. You can see it just in a uh, glimpse there because one of the sp spy photos shows a small uh, light, orange light, uh, sparkling or showing off uh, at the rear wheel well. And this is supposed to, I think, align with the three more um, small orange light that is going to be shown on the back of the tailgate. I don't have the tailgate or rear tail rendering, but you will have three bright lights. And so there's additional two, one on the left and the one on the right side, just around the wheel wells. I've shown that as well. So this is it. This is what the TRD Pro will look like. I'm very sure of it. I'm in fact 90 to 95 percent sure that this is the most accurate render you're going to see. I have uh, picked uh, a color that's like a taupe, a kind of almost like a beige taupe color because we're not quite sure what Toyota will bring for the 2022 TRD Pro lineup for color because they always have one special color. So who knows what the color might be, but this kind of taupe color is very popular as we saw in the Nissan Titan. So I've chosen that for this rendering. Who knows what uh, might be, but it looks great in this color. And uh, we hope that the TRD Pro will look almost exactly like this because I think I might buy one. So that's it for now. This is the latest rendering I can show you. Um, you can probably take my words for it. I'm very confident of the rendering's accuracy and uh, who knows exactly when Toyota will show us the official version. But typically Toyota does, makes an announcement midway through the month. So we already passed the February midway. So I think mid-March is when Toyota will finally show us uh, the final version of the Tundra and we can finally, finally take a break and enjoy the new introduction. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.